Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be teaching you how to install a GTA 5 mod. Yes, a GTA 5 native trainer mod named Scriptook V. I know a lot of people have been having trouble with Scriptook V and, and installing Scriptook V. And today I will be showing you how to first of all how to install Scriptook V and activate it even if you are on a laptop or a computer desktop okay let's get started first you have to go on this website called www.dev-co.com okay whatever i'll leave a link in the description below so this is where you can install script took v all you have to do is go down here and um so this will show you the release date and it's a uh, new version and stuff and all you gotta press is download he, and now it will start downloading and uh, you need vinr for this so if you don't have vinr then uh, type this in your um or i'll just leave in uh, this like i'll leave a link in the description e either you need english uh 32 34 bit or 32 bit and after when you have done installing uh, VinR and Scriptook V, now you gotta go ahead and open it. When you are done uh, installing Scriptook V, and now you want to go to the bin folder where it shows you uh, three files. And go ahead, just drag it to your desktop, and that's all you need to do. Now, the next thing you need to do is go to your GTA V shortcut on your desktop right i mean whatever was that left click or right click whatever just use i don't know it's i think it's right click yeah right click on the uh shortcut and go to open file location and when you are done opening the file location just choose um uh, and just choose like like put it on half side put it on that half side so all that's basically it all you have to do is just take these three files and just move them to your um, thing obviously I, I'm not gonna do it because I already have it as you can see here native trainer here and then uh, right here where is it yeah so I already have these all you gotta do is just drag and drop right here and that's all you need to do so now your script took V is installed and ready to be activated so the first thing you want to do is obviously turn on GTA 5. Now, this will take some time to load, but it will be worth it. So let's hope it loads fast. And I'm just going to pause the video until it loads. Here we go. It's up and running. And when it is up and running, you just have to wait until it loads. And then after, we will check how our script hook works or not. As you can see, it already has started loading, and all you have to do is wait until the game turns on. So, yep. So, as you can see, the game has turned on right now in first person view. So, now let's go ahead outside of Franklin's door. And uh, all. So, the mod has already been installed in your game. Now, all you have to do is hit F4 on your desktop. On your keyboard, if you hit F4, um, the menu should pop up. But right now, I'm hitting F4. It is not working. That's that. that that's not a problem. Don't say that. Oh, the mod, the mod didn't work. You're a failure in your life. No. So, what I, what I, am telling you right now. It took me a month to figure out. So, on laptops, you you have keys on the top, which are usually uh, used for volume control or uh, rewinding, playing the video, or anything like that. So, if those are called function keys. Now, if your function keys are not working, so no, no need. So no need to worry. And you will right beside your left hand control button, you will find an F N button. Now, this F N button means function keys. Now, what you want to do is hold the F and button and press F4 at the same time. Now, the menu should pop up. This is the native trainer, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the, 
now if you go to the player settings you can you can able be able to change skins between Franklin and Michael and all all the other things you can do or or you could teleport to marker to Michael's house and you have all these options teleporting to uh, places around in your game so and you also have the option to fix your player or reset your skin so and you can also add cash wanted up wanted down wanted off invincible police ignored ultimate uh, unlimited ability noiseless or fast swim or fast run or super jump so as you can see all of these things work there are just not like oh there's a plane going down there wow let's see that plane take off so I'm not even lying this game actually works really good and you can see this is the fast run on so you will never be wanted now in the weapon menu you have get all weapons no reload fire ammo so when you like fire the ammo the ammo anything that you shoot on will turn instantly fire or this one will explode an explosive melee and vehicle rockets and these can be used by by pressing plus and you need to navigate the menu using the number uh number pad uh down uh, on your right side of the hand and you, if your number pad is not working be sure your number lock is off or on and you can go to vehicle or car spawner and spawn out of all these things just like the this car or whatever it is and you can you can also paint it random when you are sitting in the car so let's go ahead and sit in the car you can also paint it randomly and it will paint it for you or fix it and uh, you can also turn off turn on the seat belt so you don't fall off and and this option allows you to when you spawn a car like so you will spawn inside the car and uh, this option allows you for the car to be invincible or strong wheels and speed boost the speed boost is one of my favorites actually like you going and uh, like in the car and you press 9 and it instantly speeds up your car so I have invincibility on so that wouldn't give me any damage and you can also change the world like moon gravity random cops on and all these other options so I recommend playing around this a bit and if you guys uh, found this video useful um, please like and subscribe and don't forget to share this video and uh, thanks a lot you guys have been a lot of support to me goodbye